That's like a creamy garden gnome. Yeah. Can you milk a nut? Uh, last night, I put out a tweet. I uh, just said, hey, I've got this crazy idea for a video. Do you guys want to see it? And it kind of blew up very, very quickly indeed. Uh, so thank you very much for that. I did get this amazing gif. If we can embed it on the screen right now, I'm not sure. Uh, that is basically my dream. Someone trying to actually milk a nut. I've already started this video because behind me right there are three different nuts. So uh, you're probably wondering how they got there. Let's rewind to last night. Good evening, ladies and gents. Welcome to the night before where you were just introduced to. To make nut milk, we need to not only acquire some actual proper stuff that you buy in the supermarket anyway, but we need some nuts that we're going to soak overnight. So the shop is just about to shut. Uh, it's quite late, I'm tired, but we're going to bomb there. I'm going to go get some nuts in the style of Mr. T, right? All right, so uh, we're now in the Basmobile. Uh, the interior light is giving me a nice halo effect. I actually have 10 minutes until the shop shuts. Uh, the cool thing is with making your own homemade nut milk, apparently, is there's so many nuts that you can do it with. Almonds, hazelnuts and peanuts, that's what we're going to do. Oh my god, what's happened? Ugh. <laughs> the pine nuts, peanuts, macadamias, hazelnuts and almonds all need 8 to 12 hours and we've got that. Walking in Memphis But do you really feel the way I feel? What? The only time I'm ever this late to the supermarket is when I've forgotten someone's birthday. Normally Mrs. Barry's to be honest. For nut milk, the only ingredients you need are nuts and water. That's it. But we'll pick up some normal almond milk. Oh, hazelnut. 200 grams of each skin on. Shell on almonds. Shell on peanuts might be harder. What the hell is a tiger nut? All right, we'll, uh, we'll just go for some standard peanuts then. Yeah, these will do. All right, what are your thoughts? I'm going to bed. That is cold water. We simply let them soak like that. I'm not a nut expert. Hey, so I'm gonna leave this by it. Oh, it says eight hours. They're probably gonna get a little bit more than that. In the mornings, I like to go for a run at the moment. So let's skip to that. It's um, quarter to six in the morning. <laughs> Seriously, you gotta try that. So, uh, you can make uh, almond milk just by water and nuts as we found out and we've got them here now they're murky from overnight let's give you a little update of what it's looking like uh so this is the hazelnut milk uh so bear in mind last night when you guys were snoring this water was all sort of uh clear but can you see it's murky these nuts now should you should be able to get the skins off them quite easy look is it just coming off i'm using my nail oh Right, you've got a lot of nuts to get on with. I'll see you in a bit. Oh no, they're not really coming apart that easy. You've got to got dig one. your nail in it. You've got to dig your nail in got it? One. No, it wants That's you... an almond. I wonder if you like rub two together. No. <laughs> it's going to take ages. All right, this is nut fun. You're supposed to laugh. <laughs> Do you know a really good way to get the skins off hazelnuts is to toast them in a pan and they flake off. Why will you do that? Just got to keep them moving because they can burn very quickly. I'm just hoping that this will dry them out and then they'll flake away. Uh, we're going to try something. Try what? Don't worry, Daddy does lots of experimenting when you guys are at school that you probably don't want to copy. It all works out in the end, alright? That's the story. Uh, I don't know if you remember where we could um, shake up garlic in a Tupperware bowl like this and it actually gets rid of the skin. This is my theory. The other way you can do it is with a kitchen towel. We'll try this way first. I think it's working. Oh my gosh, look, it's splattered. If I know my daughter well, one of them, she might want to do this in a minute. Can I do it? Yes. <laughs> Nut milk. It's basically child labor. in a while but it's working 
You've got this. Oh, look at all that dirt that's come out of it. This is awesome because they're toasted as well now, driving more flavour into it. And even if I focus the camera, that might make it interesting. Oh, I'm well happy with that. In conclusion, if I were you, I don't know if it's going to matter. Just get blanched nuts. Don't have to do this step. All right, so the peanuts have already been done anyway. The girls are just finishing the almonds. The hazelnuts are done. The next step is actually grinding them up. Now, the really cool thing that I found out is that whatever nuts that you use, the surplus, you can actually grind up even more and make hazelnut flour, almond flour, whatever flour, which is actually really expensive in the shops. We just take the actual fluid from it by adding more water. So this is the only brand of almond milk I've ever tried, and I don't mind it. I'll, let me show you. It's a little creamy in colour. Almond milk, it tastes good. It tastes of almonds. It's a vegan alternative to milk, obviously, just like all of these nut milks. Do you want to try some? To me, I like it, but it does taste really like chalky, you know? Our free nuts are down there. I did actually read, if you soak it up for up to two days, they get creamier. So we've done ours for about 12 hours in total. Right, next step, we've got a really high power food processor here. Unfortunately, the capacity on it means I've had to halve the nuts. So girls, you actually ended up peeling more than we needed. Oh. Stick the nuts into there. Yeah, go mate. Water in please. About 500 milliliters. Nice. Oh, that's a lot. So it's actually made it quite murky right away. It looks like a bit of a, well, I think I've drunk worse than that on some nights out back in my heyday. But lid goes back on. Can you, you want to drink it? Lock it in. All right, ready? Press. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think it did it within about five seconds. This is a very, very powerful uh, blender. Pass it for a muslin towel to get any of that excess uh, nuts, which would be used to make uh, nut flour. Well, I think they might have obliterated it. What's <laughs> a muslin towel? This thing. Hygiene. Drake. Where's the postman? postman? Gadget. It's very thin and fine fibre. It's kind of like a, a sieve, really. I, I smell something. You smell something? The smell of success. All right. Oh, wow, it's got a foamed head on it. It's like a beer. Have you guys had a beer before? No. You want one? Oh, look at that. Woo. Weighing it down, isn't it? Wow. So you want to squeeze this. Squeeze That's it, girls. Gently. Tomorrow. That's it. All right. So just let it dribble. It's like dough in there. Is, is there actually stuff in there? Yeah. Oh, it looks, wow. It looks hard like dough, but yeah, it's it does. actually like, liquid. Free on this. Squeeze that out. Oh, oh, it's like milking a cow. <laughs> this thing we were left with, let's have a look, Phoebes. Look at that. It's really it's like... Squishy. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. Let's move it so it doesn't fall into the bowl. Can we eat yeah. it? You can. It's not very really nice, but you can. <laughs> You're left, that stuff in there is pure peanut milk. We're gonna do the same thing two more times with the almonds and the hazelnuts, and then we'll have three different milks that will make Mrs. Barry taste test. Is there more? You insanely naughty children, what are you doing? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is not fun. Look, Mrs. Barry's here. That is the strangest thing I've ever seen. I bet it's not. You're milking the cow, Phoebe. What's the do? Is that the same or? It's a bit creamy. No, it's not as crumbly. It's good for your skin. Is it? Too late for me. <laughs> the muslin towel will help us. Oh yeah. I cannot. I believe we're making this. Just ignore it, girls. I cannot. She'll go away in a minute. <laughs> it smells like Nutella. Yeah, it's hazelnuts, mate. <gasps> it's moulded. I can just pick that up. It's like a ball. Okay, the kids are letting off some steam. I think that was quite a success. To be fair, they've done very well. You can actually flavour it uh, and sweeten it a little bit with like honeys and sugars. Don't know if we'll do that. I now present to you the Great British Nut Taste Test off. Wait. Okay, there's your chair. <laughs> you can't see a there's thing. There's your chair. Don't trust Is the camera on? Yes. First of people watching, okay. it's this. this is ah! Oh, is that your hand? Ooh. Try it then. Oh yeah, I don't want to get the milk on my scarf. Hang uh, on. 
Oh yeah. my gosh, that tastes like garden water. Yeah. One, two, three. Peanuts. Peanuts. Yeah. The peanuts. Yay. Yes. Well, that was only by smell. Really? Oh, I could taste it. This is what it is. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. That's strong. I think I know what this one is. Oh, that's nice. Um, oh, wow. It's all right. It tastes nice. No, that, I like that a lot. That's not watery. Oh. That's creamy. And no, that's got a really horrible after. Hazelnut. Hazelnut. Yes! It is, isn't it? That doesn't need sweetening or anything, that. That's mm. nice. I would say that first one, which was the peanut, peanut. needs sweetening. So this will be the almond. No. Unless you're going to trick us. Oh, that's different. That's got a different oh, pong, no. hasn't it? I hate almonds. Do you, do you hate almonds? Yeah. Oh. There goes that almond aftershave. Oh. Oh, that's sort of semi-creamy, isn't it? That's like a creamy garden gnome. Ugh. But you know There's what? a aftertaste there. You know I said I hate almonds. Yeah? I actually like that Yeah, that's your favourite one. <laughs> mm. Okay, right. You stay blindfolded a minute, Mrs B. Me? What are you doing? Just because her taste buds are stimulated right now. Hang on. Try this. <laughs> Do you not like it? Is that worse than what you just had? Yeah. What have you done to it? Take the blindfold off. That is actual proper oh, really? store-bought almond, almond milk. milk. You prefer oh, wow. ours than that? I do. Yeah, that's got a funny taste. Well, there goes that sponsorship video. Really. Yeah. <laughs> store-bought. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you bunch of nutters. I found that a fun project. It's healthy uh, and it's quite like, I don't know, interesting. It was for us anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you guys did want to see it, so hopefully we fulfilled that. Experiment with yourselves, uh, soak it for longer maybe. What do you think? My favourite bit was when we squeezed the thing and it yeah. seen snow. The nut udders. <laughs> Mrs B? Homemade is the way to go, definitely. My favourite bit was when we pressed the bender. My favourite bit is when we end the video. <laughs> Bye! Check your level player, no matter what your style, the kitchen's for me, Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. Ladies and gents, here is a simple bowl of Cocoa Pops with hazelnut milk, which could potentially be Nutella in a bowl. Mmm. Oh my word. The strength of those nuts. What's the matter? Why are you covering your face? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's really good. It's not Nutella, it's more nut. T -t 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 lots of nut teas and it's very strong nutty. Can I have that for breakfast every day? What are you asking me for? You make your, I don't make you breakfast. That's right, you don't. Yeah, why am I asking? Yeah, why am I asking? I'm going to have that for breakfast. That's actually really, really good. Uh, so there we go, guys. Uh, it's all done. <laughs>